Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run, a little tricky, to be honest with you. Um, which, uh, I'm trying to figure out which one of these seeds it was last time. That's okay, we'll figure it out. In any case, maybe we'll do a Maggie run. Our Kane run didn't go fantastic. We played a little bit as Judas. You know what? We're due for a blue baby run. It's the last character we have to beat Satan with. We did beat Satan on the last run, even though the run went, uh, not so fantastically overall. MS2T. Mystery Science 2000 T7MT Terminator 7 must terminate. All right, that sounds like a great episode. I would watch it. Let's do this. Blue Baby. Incredibly slow frame rate has now been fixed. Always nice when you get uh, petrified poop right off the bat. Uh, as Blue Baby, this pretty much solves our money woes, and that's something you don't expect to kind of be solved quietly right at the very beginning of the game, but uh Petrified poop should allow us, in combination with our own poop here, uh, to allow us to get a substantially higher degree of actual income here, which is pretty exciting. I'm excited about it, at least. It at least makes poop slightly better. Uh, dead bird, as far as items go, uh, you know, I don't plan on taking damage, because I'm kind of a big shot in Isaac, so uh, I'm pretty sure that I'm never going to get to use this. What does this item even do? I don't know. In all seriousness, it's okay. It's not very good, uh, and I would re-roll it if we were... Well, if we A, had the D6, or B... Ooh... Or B, uh, you know, we're Isaac to begin with. Oh, I do not like first floor haunt, man. But is not the end of the world. And if we take damage, Dead Bird could actually allow us to passively kill him pretty easily. I've seen a lot of people saying the haunt is the most difficult of the uh, first floor bosses. I don't necessarily disagree, actually. As, as long as you don't, like, completely get super unlucky and end up having to go up against... Uh, the Fallen or something like that. See, what are you supposed to do here in this situation? I'm just gonna shoot and uh, my hope is that Dead Bird can actually do some damage. I'm not loving uh, how it's handling it right now. The thing that makes the haunt not so terrible as far as boss fights go is the fact that you actually can uh, do a lot of damage to it relatively quickly. Like, it's a relatively weak boss, all things considered. That being said, we did still lose one Spirit Heart and we're gonna Probably eat shit more and more times over the course of this, uh... Unless I get very, very lucky. Turns out Dead Bird is actually terrible on this boss fight. Who would have thought, right? Stay away. So close. There we go. And Magic Mush. Okay, so you know, honestly, this could have gone a lot worse. Magic Mush is pretty good for us. Well, it... Honestly, uh, Magic Mush is actually amazing. It might be the best, uh... Boss room item. It's a little hard to say... But it's it's certainly one of the best. Now, if I'd known that uh, this would be the only haul for my boss trap room, I probably would not have been as excited as I am. That being said, fighting Monstro with a damage upgrade is not really a huge problem for me. I'm thinking about taking the pill. I think I'm going to take the pill because A, it could be a stats upgrade. B, it could teleport me the F out of here. Are you a wizard? I mean, that's the other thing. It could be, are you a wizard? But hey, if you're going to fight any enemy with, are you a wizard? Larry Jr. kind of seems like the right choice. We can stay far away and still manage to do a decent amount of damage. Um, I don't want to take our other pill just in case it's also bad and could cause some like compounding badness. You know, I'm not uh, I'm not a mathematician, a chartered accountant, or a financial advisor, but I think uh, compounded badness is something that you want to avoid whenever possible. Took a little damage. That's all right. That's okay. That's gonna happen from time to time. There we go. Are you a wizard? Is done. Lemon Party. It's a great uh, pill. I should have used it. Oh well. Let's move along. The great thing about being on a floor uh, when you have a lot of money but don't have a key is that as long as that arcade is there... Oh good, are you a wizard again? Uh, as long as that uh, arcade is there, we can get rid of our money to probably get a key. Now I'd rather just find one because it means effectively sacrificing a good chance at the shop for a, a chance to go to the item room. But, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta deal with what you gotta deal with for now, you know? You wanna have uh, Burger King for dinner, but Burger King's closed? You're gonna have a hard time having Burger King for dinner. That's just, uh, that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Now, in the midst of that conversation about Burger King for some odd reason, we actually did pick up uh, a key, which is nice. I have a story about Burger King, and I think everybody probably has a story of, about a Burger King. Mine's uh, somewhat unique, though. Burger King seems to engender some stories. How to jump? I'll take it. Could be useful for us. I mean, the poop is pretty good with petrified poop, but let's face it, we're playing the Binding of Isaac. There's no shortage of poop. What's my story about Burger King? Um, 
We used to go there because it was, uh, in, in university, it was one of the only places near the campus that stayed open late at night. So we went there one night. It was probably like one in the morning. There may have been alcohol involved uh, prior in the night. I was above legal drinking age. You know, know your limit, drink within it. I forgot that I can't walk over spikes. Could have jumped over them. But anyway, um, that's not uh, part of the story, but still an interesting tidbit regardless. Please give me not that is what I was actually going to say, believe it or not. But anyway, um, we're in line, and the dude in front of us is like, Hey guys, I've got like a secret menu item for you. Just go up to the front and order a 210, and they'll give you like a cheeseburger and small fries. No drink. I don't want this. I don't want to be here anymore. I didn't want to open that. I didn't want to open that. Let me out of this tiny hole. Um, so yeah, they're like, order a 210, it's like a secret menu item. So, I ordered a 210, figuring that it was gonna be bullshit, and then I go up there, and I'm like, I'll have a 210, and the lady's like, okay, here you go. You got a cheeseburger, small fries, and, uh, no drink. Which was a problem, probably, could have used some water or something at least, but anyway. Um, so from that moment onwards, we would always go spread the knowledge of the 210. I don't know if that's how it works, you know, it's been a few years since then, inflation might make that like a 230 or something by now. It was not on the menu, and was extraordinarily cheap. There you go, there's there's my surprisingly mundane tale of finding out that there is a secret Burger King menu item, at least at the Burger King, near my campus. We got an HP upgrade, please let me take a deal with the devil. Yeah. Did not kill us, that was what I was holding out for. I didn't think it would kill us, but there was that opportunity, so we traded, basically, one and a half spirit hearts for the mark, technically two and a half, but um... I think that's an okay trade, honestly, for our circumstances. It gives us that uh, damage upgrade. So we need to gamble, a well, we don't need to, but we should gamble a little bit. See if we can get a key here. Well, that's more money. That's a lot more money. Just, oh my god. What is this incredibly good luck? And it paid out with a spirit heart? Well, you're too kind. Please be our secret room. Please be our secret room. Fudge. Okay. Well, we can still blow up some other stuff to try to get a key. I kind of doubt it's going to happen. We can always go to the shop on the next floor. We got a battery. That's just a shit draw for us. By the way, this is not just an elaborate way for me to troll people and say like, Hey, go to Burger King, order a 210. They totally won't laugh at you and call you a piece of garbage. Like, and you're not going to buy drugs either. That's the kind of thing that I was worried about. I was worried like, you know, you walk up there all of a 210 and then they hand you like a baggie of cocaine and ask you for $150 or something. Nah, that's not how it went down. It ain't like that. We're gonna leave. Because there's nothing else to gamble on, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I don't know, I, you know, Google it, you can probably figure it out on the internet. Impress your friends. If your friends are the kind of people that would be impressed by you knowing a, a value-priced uh, Burger King item. So thank God we got that spirit heart earlier, huh? Because otherwise we would straight up be deceased right now. This is not looking amazing. I mean, I think that's pretty much obvious right from the get-go here. But all we need to do is make it out of this. If we can just get some spirit hearts, I think we're doing enough damage that we can survive relatively well. I'm gonna buy the key, but I'm not gonna buy the tarot cards. I honestly don't think tarot cards are that useful. Um, it, it, I don't think it's worth paying for them, paying extra for them, let's put it that way. Of course we could get something like the Hierophon out of it, but I kinda think the jump card allows us to get consumables anyway that we wouldn't otherwise be able to get, and it's free, uh, and we already own it. Like, it, 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 we can use it unlimitedly, and we already own it, so why would I you know, pay money to get a difference item. There might just be spirit hearts trapped on an island that I can pick up. Tarot cards aren't gonna help me get that unless I specifically get the hang man. Anyway, how to jump, it's all right. It's also pretty good in conjunction with like, um, by the way, did I not buy a spirit heart in there? Or did I just buy a key? I must have just bought a key. I was like, why is my HP still zero? That doesn't seem right. Tempting. Curse room, not so much. Uh, I, I may seem surprisingly, uh, Light right now, surprisingly okay for a man who was one hit away from death and pretty much just stared it in the face right there. And you know what? That's how I like to play, Isaac. I like to stay, uh, I like to stay loose. All we need is one spirit heart to start turning this bad boy around, probably. Or the alternative is just never take damage. That's the other way to do things. This room should be easy. It would be a shame to have this one die, because we're actually doing really well right now, even though it might not look like it. Our HP is zero, but our, our damage, thanks to Minimush and the Mark, is, is great. If we could just get a lucky draw and pull out a couple of Spirit Hearts, life would be good. 
Now we can use that battery to get a second tarot card out of, uh, well, out of the box of tarot cards if we wanted to. If we actually did buy it. I would still rather not, though. Don't step on the creep. Oh, this, this could be good. I'm gonna wait for the creep to dissipate in case it's bombs. I want to be able to get out. That's a spirit heart. We picked it up and didn't get any HP. So what's up with this horseshit? I'm a little confused, game. Are we all bugged out or something? Don't make me get all 210 on your ass. They don't call me small fries, no drink for nothing. Okay, spirit heart, maybe drop a spirit heart. Alrighty then. Well now for for 15 cents we could get three tarot cards out of our tarot card deal. Is that a good idea? I'm starting to come to the point where I think it may be. Now unfortunately we don't have any bombs or anything we can use to speed up this fight. But fortunately the Fallen is not so so bad. In fact, if you ask me to quantify his badness, I would say that he's so-so. We did it. We got Demon Baby, which is so not worth it. And then we're gonna fight Krampus, which is... <laughs> Let's put it this way. The game is really making us work for it right now. I'm pretty sure if we get hit, we'll die. But we could also pull Krampus's head out of this. Yeah, okay. So we got Krampus said Mom's Pearl may save our lives. Or we may just continue on this purgatory until we get hit once and then die forever. I honestly have no idea. Um, I think we're just going to head down to the next floor, even though there is some some sneaky stuff that we can pull with our uh, with our tarot cards and batteries and whatnot. But I think we're just going to move along here, because pretty confident this run's just going to like end in failure anyway. Now we have three spirit arts. Oh, you know what? Guys, I'm an idiot. We had Curse of the Unknown on the last floor, but I just thought we ran out of Spirit Hearts. That makes me a big dummy, but at the same time, it also puts us in what I would consider to be a fantastic ooh, position here. Petrified Poop plus E. coli, by the way. Um, it, it turns enemies to poop when we touch them. Gives us a better chance to get some money out of it. Seriously, what am I doing here? Um, gives us a better chance to get some money out of it, but... Uh, might not be that big of a deal since we don't have any invincibility, but I'm still very excited about kind of the way that this has gone down. I thought for sure our run was over, but I just totally neglected to uh, keep an eye on the fact that we had totally had a curse going instead. So this is all right. We we actually have a, a winnable run. That's a second Are You a Wizard pill. I'm very excited about that. I think we just buy the Spirit Hearts, maybe, and the key. A uh, second card slot, you know, it's worth something, but I don't know if it's worth... Uh, the asking price there when we could just continue to buy spirit hearts. We're teleporting around a little bit. That's a result of being on this Curse of the Maze level. Um, baby, I'm amazed by the way you confuse my navigation. Sure. I don't see any reason not to take that. It's a time release spirit heart. Now I'm feeling a lot more confident about this run. I thought we were uh, working on borrowed time. We'll probably come back for that. But it turns out that actually we've got a pretty good thing going here. Um, HP is not fantastic, admittedly, but our uh, our damage is really good. Where did these? Where did that money go? I'm gonna open both of these. Mask of Infamy and a Spirit Heart. I think that's worth it. Now we fight Mega Fatty, and then we fight Peep. Is that correct? I would like to have that bomb back, please. Like compare this damage to the damage we were doing last time as Kane. Oh, we fight the Gate. Um, so we're in a much much better position, I think. Ooh, okay, thank you, Infamy. Uh, we're in a much, much better position damage-wise, and maybe HP-wise as well, if I do say so myself. It's no exaggeration that uh, Infamy shows up all the freaking time, by the way. I don't really know what causes it, but uh, I'm happy it showed up here, because if it saves us a little bit of damage, that's good. Now, what's our game-winning item as, as uh, Blue Baby? Say it with me now. We all know it. It's Dark Bum. Uh, I would also love to get Mom's Knife. I've been working so hard to get Mom's Knife. And by working so hard, I mean playing a lot of Isaac and really hoping against hope that we get Mom's Knife. But both that and Brimstone seem to be pretty rare in Rebirth. And, uh, you know, that's not necessarily a bad change, if it is a change at all. And not just, like, anecdotal evidence. But, um, ooh, careful. I would very much like for that trend to reverse itself here. I would take both, even. If there's a way to get over there without using two bombs, I would do it. Mississippi Queen! Mm, pretty much dead by the seams. You know, I'm not really 
great at the rhyming part. The problem is I just say whatever I want in the first sentence without paying any mind to whether or not it'll rhyme easily with any other words. We unlocked something cute in the depths, so that's gotta be Chud. I don't know, what, uh, maybe that's like the first time we've actually fought all the bosses down here? If so, that's kinda crazy. I'm not gonna mess around with any kinda sneaky deaky stuff here. We're on depths one, and honestly, damage-wise, thanks to that pentagram, I think we're sitting in a great spot. Our HP, uh, you know what, I'm gonna save that area for last. I always take damage there. Maybe we should do it first then, so I don't die in the process, but, um... I, uh, I'm feeling very good about our damage. We're nearly one-shotting those bonies. Two bombs to get two keys. A battery charge. Two battery charges. And that card? Absolutely, I'll do it. But I would like to use... Um, or I'd like to get Krampus's head used. That was so bad. Because right now, uh, we're not really... We, we'd only be getting one room charge out of the battery. Now, mind you, that would have saved us half a spirit heart, so that probably would have been smart, but... Sad bombs. Sad bombs, um, are okay. The cooler tier effects we get, the better sad bombs become. We're just gonna buy our spirit heart here. I know there's Humbling Bundle there. If I can get some extra cash, I would, uh, I would use it. 48 hour energy. Oh, this is awesome, actually. So let's get our keys. Two of spades. Doubles our keys. We'll probably try to use that. Didn't quite kill everything, but we're two-shotting those big guys, too. Leaves us in a pretty good position. If we can just get a deal with the devil here, which honestly we'll, we'll probably earn. That would be good for us. More money. Two of diamonds maybe would have been better, but if we find some golden chests, we can definitely open them and hopefully get enough money to make this work. Oh, that nickel is huge, because Humbling Bundle is so good. In fact, I probably should have bought it before the Spirit Heart. If we get one Spirit Heart payout, then um, Humbling Bundle would have paid for the Spirit Heart that we bought already. Not to mention all the consumables, but we haven't had a spirit heart drop yet. And my number one priority is just making sure that our HP actually survives, so... I don't think you can blame me too much for worrying about impending survival over, uh, you know, long-term kind of consumable gain. That doesn't mean it's the right play, though. Sure, that'll show us the secret rooms, which will allow us to hopefully get enough money here. Uh, yeah, you know what? Pays for itself pretty quickly. We can get our boss fight over with here. And really, oh, let's see how this works. Yeah, okay, sad bombs are all right right now. The more synergies we get, the better, but for now it's okay. I'm gonna try blowing up some of these. Typically we can get some pills or, I mean, are you a wizard isn't really what we want, but that's okay. I can see forever, that's great, actually. I'm happy to hear that. No pills there, and our last one. Two pills here. One is pheromones. That's actually all right. One is range down. Well, I would say that spending four bombs on that situation there was probably ill-advised. Let's go fight our boss now that we have a. Uh, it's not Necropolis. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say it's not Necropolis too. We're not gonna fight Mom, are we? Man, I love Krampus's head. This item is way too strong. <laughs> But it's really, really good. I think our Satan kill is starting to look like a foregone conclusion, but this deal with the devil would help out a lot. Placenta is okay. Ghost Baby is so not worth it, man. That's a big disappointment for me. I didn't know we got an Emperor card. Alright. Exploration. Looking for a second secret room. Uh, we do still have this, like, nightmare room that I don't really like talking about. And that one, as well, pretty much the same thing. Okay, please give me some spirit hearts here. I've got Mom's Pearl. Put another one down, just in case. Hey, okay. So at least this area paid for itself. Oh, my fudge. You know what? I don't really want to go up here. I think I'm just going to take more damage than it's worth. That's on me, by the way, but still. I l let's make the smart call. I don't think we're going to be able to buy a Humbling Bundle. But with Mom's Pearl, it seems so good. Fudge, we're going to try. Okay. Don't take damage. Nice. Okay, good. Taking it slow worked pretty nicely there. Now, we do have to get back. But, you know, we've already done part of it. With one bomb, we could probably come close to getting the money we need. 
Where's our second secret room? Um, we could probably come close to getting the money we need just by blowing up a... Uh... Oh, I didn't even know we didn't go to this room. Just by blowing up the donation machine, but, you know, another, like, single penny would help out a lot. Okay. Anarchist cookbook does not help out. That item's straight up trash, I guess. Uh, which is why I'm gonna take it, excuse me? That would have been a terrible mistake. Let's try not to make that mistake. Second secret room. Like, one penny. Well, you know what? We have two bombs now that we can use on our donation machine. And we have this fire here. Come on. No? Alright. Put a bomb here. That's enough money. Okay, so we'll get Humbling Bundle and then get the hell out of here. Lost more HP than I'm comfortable with? Didn't even find our second secret room. What's up with that? Maybe it's over here? It appears to not be. Oh, it's way the way down here. Okay. Do we know? We know some of these, right? Pheromones. Range down. Health up. These are good ones. I think we take the two of spades and we don't actually... Uh, you know what? We're probably not going to need two of spades very much longer because of the humbling bundle. Maybe the emperor card's better. So let's use two of spades right now. I doubt we're going to find ourselves at a key shortage. And we can use this to get to the Satan fight or even the lamb fight a little bit quicker. I think we can eke out a victory here. Just give me a second. I had to look at this... Uh, other side of the screen. Alright. That is fine. Might be a little framey here for a second. Oh, just give it a minute. Just working the turkey through. It'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll open this. I've decided... I, I've come to the conclusion that Bob's brain is bad if you have damage. If you have options, Bob's brain is bad. If you don't have options, Bob's brain might be the only way for you to actually eke out a victory. But on our run right now, we're going to ignore it. It's just a little bit too dangerous. For me. If you're better than me, congratulations. That's it? That should be it, I was gonna say. Yeah, and that's why I used two of spades uh, earlier. I was like, you know, we got Humbling Bundle. We should be able to get a lot of consumable drops, keys included. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get our um, boss rush mode here. That's okay, we've already gotten boss rush on Blue Baby, much to my surprise. That is a lot of money. Ah, uh, and there's even more, we'll go pick that up. Yeah, so we don't need boss rush mode. Although sometimes, like, strategically, boss rush mode can be okay. I think that uh, the best time for it is is almost in the, the exact same situation we have. Beat the boss quickly, get boss rush mode, and then use, like, an emperor or a fool card or a moon card or a stars card or a hermit card and just teleport the hell out of there and then basically snag a free item. Well, magician card was not worth our key, but keys are not worth as much as they normally are because we're getting so many of them so we don't have to worry about like scarcity or anything like that I think we've got a we've got a good chance on this run I, I really can't stress enough that Krampus's head is a straight-up game changer it may I think I don't think it's quite one of the best spacebar items in the game and by that I mean I, maybe I'm wrong though I was gonna say like I don't think it's quite um, well what would I even be comparing it to is it better than Crystal Ball? Yeah, I would rather have Krampus' head than Crystal Ball. That makes it, like, almost by definition better than Book of Revelations. Remote Detonator is not so good for us, but I'm happy to have the bombs. Um, yeah, so maybe Krampus' head actually has a... I, look, let's put it this way. I don't think it's a D6 caliber, but I haven't had D6 in, in uh, Rebirth yet. I've only had it in Vanilla, so... Um, maybe... Well, I think for sure the D6 got nerfed a little bit. They were talking about that pre-release. But uh, it, it's up there. It might actually be one of the best spacebar items in the game. Offensively, it might be the best. The only thing that would make it better is if it's uh, charged a little faster. But that would make it overpowered, probably. And by probably, I mean, like, definitely. Bad damage, but that's okay. We picked up some spirit hearts to make up for it. Uh, You know, I'm, I'm going to donate some money back to our donation machine here. I feel bad about borrowing against it earlier. I don't think it's worth really buying the pills. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. I mean, the pills are only seven cents, but I still don't necessarily think it's worth it. 
thing's taking a decent amount of money. Maybe 250 will give us some kind of upgrade. I mean, mind you, we're only at uh, like 242 or something, but still. So now that we've gone to all of our special rooms, I mean, we could shoot this and get more money to donate. We should shoot this and get more money to donate, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying. It's well worth it for us to uh, go one more room, especially when the room's as easy as this, and get our uh, Krampus' head charged, because it, it might not one-shot Mom's heart. But it is kind of ridiculous. It will, uh, it will defeat Mom's heart. Well, it, it'll probably take off about 75% of Mom's heart's HP if we use it properly. Like, if another body segment shows up at the same time... Not 75%, 50%, but if we'd used it, like, right there when three body segments popped up at the same time, it might have even done a little bit better for us. That was bad damage, that's okay. Now we've got Dead Bird active. Get excited. Dead Bird, coming again to save the mother flapping day, yeah. Dead Bird, F yeah. Extra 2% damage in the long term. We do get a deal with the devil, at least. We took the negative, of course. Our deal with the devil. Horror of Babylon is a no-brainer. Finally. I don't think we can afford Headless Baby, although I think it's pretty good. We just don't have the, um... The kind of HP reservoir here. But, uh, the Horror of Babylon is kind of a no-brainer pickup for us. I don't expect to run into too many problems on this floor. Disregard. <laughs> I've had surprisingly good luck uh, eking out victories, at least through to Satan, that probably should not have been victories. All we really need is like a couple of lucky red, uh, sorry, spirit heart drops from um, from Humbling Bundle to sort ourselves out. The other thing that would win us the run, to the point of the lamb almost for sure, is uh, Dark Bum. But we haven't had it yet, on this run. We've had it many times. Oh, we've had it! Oh yeah, I'm telling you, I don't want to be gross about it. Yeah, man, sex happens. All right, easy enemies. We'll st oh, what the heck did that guy? He was invisible temporarily or something. Oh, come on, Mom's Pearl, you could have, you could have hooked me up there, and you know it. That's bad damage. Three spirit hearts, scary. <laughs> no, thank you, sir. I'm not buying what you're selling, please. You, you're scaring my wife. Please don't come to our house again. Weird little pseudo diglets. So one of you left up there, huh? I'm gonna get you. Don't ever doubt that you will get gotten. I keep hearing the, I keep hearing them phase in and out. It's taunting me in my dreams. But where are they? There they are. Okay. One more hit, probably. Where you at, dog? I don't need red hearts anymore. You can give up the whole red heart grudge here. Give me some spirit hearts instead. How am I gonna use this emperor card? I'll probably use it, okay, here's the thing. It depends. If we're in a terrible position, I might use it to just help us fight mom's heart. Um, I may still even end up using it on this floor if things get like truly dire. Um, I don't think they're going to, but it could happen. Oh, snap. Lucky us. Um, thank you. My hunch is that because we're gunning primarily for a Satan kill here, we'll use them on Shoal to fight Satan with the most HP that we can possibly muster. Of course, I am actually, you know, because of Humbling Bundle, I stand to end Mom's Pearl. The more rooms I go to, the more spirit hearts I stand a chance to gain, but also, you know, the more spirit hearts I stand a chance to lose as well. So it's a bit of a crapshoot to a small extent. Whoa, he popped up like right next to me there. But yeah, that's that's my hunch for where I'll end up using it. I can't uh, necessarily confirm nor deny that that's exactly how this is going to go down. This room shouldn't be a problem. Is proving to be a slight problem. That's my own bad, though. Yeah, I know we need to get that key. I don't think we need our... Uh I don't think we need Krampus' head to be able to fight the bosses on this floor. It would be nice, of course, but I think it's better to just not risk our health by going to an extra room. It's debatable, but it's working out pretty nicely for us thus far. Our damage is good enough. So what am I hoping for? He gives us, like, Squeezy, and then we get the chance to maybe trade HP for Dark Bum. 
Well, instead, we got a Tears plus Shot Speed up in Torn Photo. And that is not Dark Bomb, but there could be a lot of uh, Spirit Hearts in here nonetheless. Or we could just teleport directly to our Devil Room. Those are not Spirit Hearts. Well, it's going to be a little wild. It's going to be interesting. I think we've got a really good chance against Mom's Heart if we have Krampus's head ready for it. Satan could be a crapshoot, though. You know, you never know. You know, you know, you never know. That's my philosophy on things. That's what I do. And my funeral, they'll say. He was a very erudite man. Yet sometimes he did have trouble making coherent sentences in the language in which he has spent 100% of his life. He was a, an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Spirit hearts. You know what? I'm using a bomb here. Those are not spirit hearts. That is a lot of damage, though. We should be using sad bombs uh, against any room that, that poses a threat to us. A little bit of a late use there. I still don't know what Mysterious Candy does, actually. I, to be honest with you, given the name of it, I can't even offer a guess. Because it, it has something to do with food, I'm assuming that it's like an HP-related thing. Uh, that's, uh... That's infamy that made it so we didn't take damage there, but I have no idea why. We should have taken damage there. Not that I'm complaining. Let's check out our boss trap room. You know what? I'm gonna say it. I'm really glad we didn't take Bob's brain. I would be in a terrible situation right now. I don't like this room at all. That struck me as some horseshit right there. How are we supposed to get out of the way of that shot? Is that how you have to make your a buff blast assist by making the room that they're on like a mathematical nightmare? I still think we've got a really good chance against Mom's heart. We just gotta get there. I don't think this is worth Krampus's head. This should be like the easiest room that we'll come across on the whole floor as long as we don't explode ourselves. And uh, that has been a problem for me in the past, both in my personal life and in the game. No spirit hearts, huh? Mom's Pearl, you're doing a bang-up job of being a total piece of crap right now. I just want you to know that. Not that I'm blaming you for, for my foibles or anything like that, but you are to blame for it. That's alright, though. I'll be the bigger man. Well, this should allow us to use Krampus' head like crazy. Not even any black hearts. Like, work with me on that, at least. I think that other one did not die. Uh, maybe it died at the last second. Yeah, it did. Okay. We should, uh, we should go back for our battery. The music here has given me a great sense of foreboding and dread, and I was like, you know what? We should probably go back. Um, let's see if a bomb here will blow up these rocks. It gave us two red hearts. That's unfortunate. What about these ones? These are special, right? Special. So special. Will this get the secret room, too? We'll never know, I guess. Uh... Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna do it. We we did enough. Come on, fly. Oh, I turned into poop just by touching him. That, that'll do it. Now we'll go back for our other battery. And I do think that Mom's heart is a no-brainer. If I don't take damage against Mom's heart, I think I'll just teleport directly to Satan. The lamb kill would be nice, but I don't see it happening. The Satan kill is more realistic, and it's what we need as well. We haven't had a floor yet past depths where we gained HP. So it seems a little foolhardy to assume that that'll, that'll change for us on Shoal, which has harder enemies. Could be mistaken. It is possibly like a run-sundering decision. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. Just beat Mom's heart, just beat Mom's heart. We did it. No spirit hearts, still? What do you think, guys? I'll tell you what I think. I think... Oh, Curse of Darkness, too. Fantastic. I think we go through, like, two rooms down here. Until we get Krampus' head. And hopefully we pick up some HP in the meantime. And then we teleport to Satan. I think that's, that's a calculated risk that I, I can get down with. So one more room. It's okay. So far, so good. Can't really see shit. I'll crank up the gamma before the Satan fight if we actually manage to get there. No spirit hearts. I thought those were spirit hearts for a minute. Alright, well, we're going to teleport out of this anyway, so let me crank up the gamma a little bit. Hopefully that's a little better. 
It's going to be a little framey for a minute here because I alt-tabbed out of Isaac. There we go. Now, we're going to check and see. No spirit hearts. So we Emperor card out. Let's do this shit, Satan. I'm ready. Sad bombs are going to hurt, dog. Everybody hurts. Whoa, thank you. Uh, thank you, an ex... Oh! Look, I'm happy with that run. At the same time, I think we got screwed a little bit, but I could have done better. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. There's going to be more Isaac all the time. I'm on a bit of a losing streak that I'm not happy uh, with, but we're going to break out of it next time, hopefully, even without the help of Azazel. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.